Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shanae and I'm the creator behind Original Flavor. If you like luxury and designer fashion and style with a little bit of beauty, then this is the place to be. Welcome. Okay guys, for today's video, I wanted to do a black owned clothing designer, all of that wish list. Everybody does a luxury and designer wish list, but I actually have a lot of black owned brands that I love their clothes and I either already own items from their, from their collections or I am looking to purchase more or new things from their collections. So let's get into it. Let's talk about it. There's some amazing black owned brands that I think that we should be paying a little bit more attention to and I think deserve a little bit of our coin. Before we get into the list, I wanted to shout out this beautiful cardigan. You guys have seen me wear it before. It is by Souk and Sepia. If you want a more affordable black owned clothing brand that's more like a boutique, then I highly recommend Souk and Sepia. They were online. I purchased from them several times. I worked with them before and I think that you can find some really great well-made pieces from them. So first up on my list is going to be a beautiful hot pink cardigan from, well cardigan sweater dress from Hanifa. Hanifa is a brand I'm sure you guys have heard about. It's one of the more well-known or better known black owned designer brands. And I am obsessed with her pieces. The only thing is she can, she can make some of them a little shorter. Not all of us are six foot, you know, but that's neither here nor there. I love her brand. I have several pieces that I have purchased from her brand. One of them being the very popular um, cardigan. If you guys haven't seen it, um, which I don't know at this point how that would be possible. It is beautiful. It is very long, extravagant. It's made of really thick wool. I think it's acrylic actually. Um, it's a really nice piece. So recently she came out with a new color, which is the hot pink, which I wish she came out with originally because I would have bought that one over the color I have. So on my wish list is the hot pink color because I'm a pink girl. So I would love to have her signature piece or one of her signature pieces in pink. And like I said, it's well made. It's a moment. I always get compliments on it. Okay guys, so next on my list is another brand that I have several items from already, but I still have one that's on my absolute wish list. And that is from Brandon Blackwood, it's one of his trunks. And this one is the one that's in the, Sal the genuine Salvatore Lizard. And I don't know if I want the mini or the regular size Kendrick trunk. So. The reason why I love this one and this one's on my wish list because he has so many bags that I would like and I have or would like to own is because I have a lot of handbags and I'm getting to the point where if I'm going to add one to my collection, I would like to add ones that are different, things that are special. So the Salvatore Lizard, that would qualify this bag as being an exotic or exotic leather, exotic, exotic materials. And usually like for a lot of luxury handbags, brands if you have an exotic leather typically those bra those bags are priced at like four thousand five thousand six thousand eight thousand ten thousand way more if you're talking about a Birkin so for the quality and the materials you're getting and the price point that he's offering for this handbag I think it's amazing I definitely really 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 want it I wish that I had known about this handbag before I had purchased um one that you guys already seen and one that you guys don't know about yet. I just wish I, I wish I have seen it. But it's neither here nor there. I'm going to keep my eye on it. It's still available and hopefully I can make it mine. If in general you're looking for a more accessible but still luxurious handbag brand that's also black owned, I highly recommend Brandon Blackwood. I There's many black owned handbag brands but in my opinion I feel like his is the most like unique or standout-ish to me. I feel like and also like doesn't compromise quality but still once again that accessible more affordable price point check it out let's bring back the list to more clothes so one item that i am in love with and have been in love with since last spring last summer it's this beautiful rainbow dress from bruce and glenn bruce glenn so they are two twins that created their own line this dress is so beautiful to me and I have not been able to find anything similar to it. 
So sometimes when I do see designs that I like, but it may not be the price point I want to pay, I try to see if there's a more affordable option that kind of gives the same vibe. And I have not found anything similar, anything that touches the, the beauty of this dress. I actually had the chance to see it in Saks in person and it was gorgeous. It's actually on sale right now. So um, I'm not supposed to be buying anything. So this is gonna be hard when the things you actually have been looking for and wanting finally go on sale and you're not buying. This is gonna test my my strength, my self-discipline because I really love this dress. This dress is something that I know I would have for years to come, would always be a conversation starter and it's just timeless and beautiful. Another slip dress that's on my mind and it's similar to the Bruce Glenn slip dress is going to be one by Faye Noel and it's the Sundance slip dress. So it's also another colorful ombre print. However, the difference between this one and the Bruce Glenn one is that these colors are a little softer and there's less colors. Mm, see, it looks like it's less colors, but for the most part, it's softer, more muted colors, but still colorful and beautiful nonetheless. Faye Noel is one of the is one of the brands I definitely have been wanting to purchase from. And like I told you guys, sometimes it's best to pick up on these brands when they're when they're still like newer because that's when the price point is the best. Because then as soon as everybody else hears about them, yesterday's price is not today's price. And that's what happened. Because I could have sworn the pricing was a little bit more accessible, and now it's not. But I am mad at it, you know. The demand is there, so you do you. The quality is there, the designs are there, you do you. So, like I said, uh, another dress that I'm looking for, another brand that I definitely want to add more from in my collection. On my list is another brand that I have purchased from several times, and I love their signature style, and that is something by Sonji. And the item that's on my list is the Oscar paper bag shorts. I love them. Well, I'm sorry, the Oscar Micro paper bag shorts. I'm looking at my phone for reference. I love them. I think they're super cute. I like the fact that these shorts accentuate that, you know, the smallness of your waist, but also have a more statement type of effect with like the paper bag. And then also that they're, they're short, but they're not tight. I have, I would say I have a pretty big butt. And sometimes when things are short and tight and you have a big butt, it's just not flattering because it just looks like you have like, booty shorts on this looks a little bit more elevated because of the actual structure and silhouette and I think that's beautiful I own a pair a couple of things from something by Sonji and everything I've gotten has been beautifully crafted well made and just very like statement-y it could be even if it's a basic it's still statement-y which is very much my style if I'm dressing more casual and basic it's still going to be something that's an elevated basic and if it's something more statement-y I'm, I'm making up my own words if it's something more statement-y it's still going to be like you know a little bit more extra to it and I feel like these shorts will be perfect for the summer and it will be a pair of shorts that I feel like I'll be able to wear from years from now because I also like that because it has the paper bag effect if I gain weight or lose weight it does give me a little bit of leeway because the whole point is for it to be a little oversized and then you can like tie it tight so that it gets the real paper bag effect and I feel like that gives me a little bit more leeway as I have seen with my paper bag pants my paper bag James pants from something by Sonji. If you haven't checked out something by Sonji, I highly recommend it. It they make some really cool designs and I love everything that I have from them. The next brand that I'm going to talk about is one that I have purchased from before. And it's one that I don't have one particular item of theirs on my list. It's just more about just I guess like in general. So the next brand is Andrea Ayama. I love her designs. She's like one of the best like resort wear designers I've ever seen. Her items are so classy, so elegant, but still sexy and still like perfect for like that warm tropical vacation. I would love to add more of her ready to wear or resort wear to my, to my collection. I just need more places to go. So some of the things I'm thinking about adding to my collection in addition to the swimwear because the swimwear is gorgeous I actually purchased something but you know your girl got to get in the gym first before I wear it is like some of her like two piece sets more specifically right now I'm looking more towards like the tops the tops are a little bit more the tops and the bottoms together are a little bit more like extravagant more dressy but I do think that if I was to get some of like the tops I would be able to pair them with denim and it would still be really nice and more casual for like the summertime in New York City or springtime in New York City. 
So that's something I'm looking to do. There's a couple of her pieces I've seen on her website as well as on, um, I believe it was Revolve, and I think they would be perfect with some denim or like white linen pants, things like that. So check it out. While we're on the topic of warm weather attire, I wanted to highlight Riot Swim. So as somebody who's busty, it can be very hard to find swimwear that's sexy, that's well made, that's like really stylish and has really cool cuts that also accommodates my breast size. So it's not just about the size of my breast, it's the fact that I have a smaller back and my cup size is very large. For reference, I am a 32G or 34G because I gained some weight so my back is a little bit bigger. So yes, I understand that that's not the sister size. I don't need a lecture on, on breast sizes, trust me, I don't. But yeah, that's where I'm kind of at right now as far as my boobs go. And I feel like they cater to that. Their swimwear is very like universal as far as sizing goes. It looks great on everybody from people who are really thin to those who are curvier. They have something for everyone. And they even have a section that's just for, um, well not just for, but a section that of like curated section where they have all the styles that are able to accommodate a larger breast size. So I'm really excited about that and I'm really hoping to add some of their swimwear to my collection for the summer. Once again, I just need some places to go. Otherwise, what am I buying it for? Yeah, really gorgeous, really beautiful. And I also love the fact that the brand uses real bodies. They showcase their models from like really thin all the way to thicker to in between with stretch marks, with cellulite, all the things that all of us have in real life that have been covered up for so many years. Because let's be honest, we all have it. It's natural, let's accept it, let's embrace it, let's move on. The ninth item on my list is from a brand that I was had the pleasure of seeing their collection for autumn and when. <laughs> I had the pleasure of seeing their collection from autumn and for winter 2022 is Durdo. And I was so impressed and so in love with the designs I saw during the show. I also had the pleasure of seeing them in the Black and Fashion Council's showroom and Spring Studios. And I got, a, I got to take a closer look at their designs. One design that caught my eye that I feel like is so like amazing is, I don't know the exact name of it because the collection didn't come out yet, but it's this Jingham, 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 however you say it, dress. But this one's a little bit different. Normally, I really don't like the Jingham print. I just don't, I don't know if I'm even saying that right. I feel like it's just not my vibe. It's giving me like some somebody's old grandma picnic blanket. It's just, to me, it's not cute. I know that it's a popular, trendy type of print, not my style. However, the way they did this, they did it with like so many different colors, like a, almost kind of like a rainbow. As you guys could tell, I really like colorful things. And I feel like the way they did it was so beautiful. The cut of the dress looks so like, it's like asymmetrical, but it's some ruching on one side of it. It's just really gorgeous. It's actually something that if the Polo Classic ever came back, I would want to wear to that with a really beautiful hat and some pumps. I feel like that would be such a mood if I get in shape. It would be such a mood. So I feel like it's a shame that it's fall and winter style because I feel like it's definitely giving me more of a summer. So just in case I'm mistaken, I'm definitely going to keep my eye out on their website and Instagram because I need it. I really need it. In general, definitely check out their brand. Once again, all these brands I'm talking about are black owned and they're amazing. They are definitely a brand to watch. Their good the colors, their prints, the materials they use are just really gorgeous. And right now color is a thing. Color has always been a thing for me, but I know for some people it's something they're getting into. So I would highly recommend them for that. Last but not least on my list is a pair of pumps from Nalib or Nalebe, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, brand. They were another brand that was very visible during this New York Fashion Week. They were in the Black and Fashion Council showroom. They showcased, I think, at Spring Studios as well. And I'm just super excited to see more Black-owned shoe brands. I feel like there's so many brands that I felt like I didn't know about until like these past two years, and I'm so happy to see them because Supporting black, supporting small, supporting women-owned businesses is something, once again, that I'm very passionate about. Especially when the brands are catering to people that have more like physical features like mine. And what I mean by that is feet. So with some of these black-owned shoe brands, what I appreciate is the fact that they do kind of keep in mind that some of us have wider feet. Because I feel like a lot of European brands, they tend to have more narrow cut shoes and my feet are like double wide. Like so... 
as I get older, the less and less I'm able to tolerate certain types of shoes and like their whiffs. So I'm excited to see more brands that take that into an account. So these shoes that I'm, I, I, that I'm in love with are called the Stellar Pumps and they're in orange. They have a square toe, which is really trendy right now. But honestly, it's something that I feel like I would rock regardless because once again, it's more comfortable for my width, for the width of my feet. There's a mesh and there's a chain and the heel height. Like I like I love stilettos, but more and more as I'm getting older, I'm all here for like the heels that look like they have something going on, but they don't have a lot of inches because girl, my feet, the way they're set up, mm-mm. So I think that these would be really perfect for a nice dress in the summertime, going out to dinner, going to brunch. I could also rock these with some denim because I love doing a casual part of my outfit and then doing something that's a little bit more dressy. I like the contrast. I like the juxtaposition of them. I just think it's like really cool and just a really fun style way, a really fun way to style dressier items, especially because like I said, and I have said, I am more of a casual dresser going out to maybe a lounge, a bar, brunch. I don't really go to fancy dressy places a lot. So yeah, that's 10 on my list. Okay guys, so that concludes my black owned luxury designer wish list. There are so many amazing black owned fashion brands to choose from. I was watching a video yesterday and someone brought up the point that sometimes it's hard for, you know, those of us that can't afford a thousand things to just go out and support a brand that we haven't heard from or maybe doesn't have the clout. So it's like, who are you to ask for a certain amount? However, what I think that we need to do is, you know, open up our eyes a little bit more and, you know, really take a chance on our, you know, black owned brands. I think that there's a lot of amazing creative designs, quality, so many great things to look forward to. And, you know, I think it's just really important. And I feel like it's a personal obligation of my own. This is Black History Month, so I am sharing this video. However, if you follow me on Instagram or if you follow me on this page, you know that supporting black owned brands, small, small owned brands are something that I just do. It's something that I actually always want to do with my platform and will always do with my platform because I feel like there's just so much power in supporting something when it's up and coming and believing in it and seeing its progress. So let me know if there's anything on your black owned luxury designer wish list that I didn't mention. Let me know what you think of the items that I mentioned. Make sure you check out the brands. I'm going to link everything below. I have also a blog article about black owned boutiques. If you're that's more of your vibe, I will leave that below. I spent a lot of time making that list a couple years ago, I think two years ago, and it was very one of my most successful blog posts because it's we need to know. We need to know. So once again, definitely let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching as always. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night. Bye. So what's your